Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. this is my tech corner of the internet. So uh, I want to do another video today about Homebox inventory management software. I'm in the Discord server for the project, lots of people are very excited about it. And what I thought I would do is show you guys a system I've developed. I've inventorized over 1300 items using this, uh, which I know sounds like a crazy amount and it has been an absolute slog but I'm determined to get this finished and uh, get my life organized. So I just thought I'd show my structure uh, for organization that I'm using and just to give people a feel for how the system works and how you might want to organize. This isn't prescriptive, this is my method. You know, you might have your own method. So what I did firstly, I mean, the reason I got this, I was inter I've been looking for something like this for, for years <laughs> was that my home office is a disaster. Um, it's not a disaster in terms of being messy, although it's currently also a total mess, but it's messy in terms of the fact that I store here stuff for clients and for my business, tripods, lights, uh, microphones, videography stuff. And it's gotten to the point where I have so many things that I don't know where it is. Now, yes, I want to declutter and uh, actually this will help me declutter. But on the other hand, a lot of it's stuff that I actually really do need. And I just need to know exactly what, what box it's in. So I created firstly in my apartment as I'm just doing the whole apartment. It's easier for me to just do everything Um on this system than it is just to do my home office. So the first thing I did was open up uh, locations. I opened up one location for my apartment and then I opened up sub locations uh, for the different rooms. Now, the thing that's great about this is you can nest. I don't know if there is a limit to how many layers you can nest to. I haven't hit it if there is one. But for instance, in my home office and tech, as I kind of went through what I had, I opened up sub layers. So these layers, take folders, are actually... This is, this is the apartment, then there's a room for home office, and then my uh, physical folders are all nested as assets. So these are assets, the one with the box icon, and I chose folders as a location because it's a shelf in my home office that has basically all my folders uh, for holding printed documents. Um, so then I have one for the wardrobe because I have a wardrobe here and these what you're looking at here all these little miscellaneous bits and pieces are assets that are nested at my home office um, level. Now just to go into one totally random asset this is a very small little plaque uh, that I got made up in uh, in Greece um, but this is at the home office level and you can nest it you can change the location very easily click on edit and then you can move it to a sub level or a parent level and you can of course also add details but this is the asset level and I'll show that in another video. Now just to kind of um, show a bit more maybe imaginative things that I did right so I'm just going to denest the apartment we'll close that up. So I hold stuff I hold some stuff for clients um, for my boss I have a few tech pieces that I need to give him so rather than count that in my in inventory I opened a location called for clients and I put the stuff that's for him there. Now this one is is where I think I got a little bit imaginative. I call this inventory groups. And basically what I'm doing here, the first thing I did in the system was go through all my boxes. And you can see I have a ridiculous amount of boxes throughout the apartment, something like 60, 70, wow, 70 boxes, okay. So I opened up a group and I called it box inventory as a location and then the individual boxes as sub locations. And as I'm, as I'm assigning stuff to boxes and putting the boxes in a room, I'm moving the boxes into a room in the apartment. But I started out by creating this inventory group called books. I'm not sure whether I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to actually put my own books into this. My wife might put her books, but we actually have a project uh, for uh, one of my in-laws who wants to, who wants to, he needs to inventorize his late father's collection of historical books dating way back. So uh, this is a case you could actually do it. Now there are inventory managers for books and for optical media, as they have it here as well. Um, but um, you know, I, you can also put it in the system if you want to. I think there's a lot to be said for having everything one tool. I put my car as a location. If you have a car, if you have multiple cars, uh, it's good to, it might be useful to note what's in your car. Then finally, I have uh, an unsorted area just for kind of doing, I have a test asset to play around with here. And then for offsite locations, uh, what I actually did here was I have, I put down locations of uh, where my uh, my my mom lives, where my in-laws live, where we visit usually once a year, if not more. 
Um, and I just put these as locations because I have stuff in all of these places. And the next time I'm there, physically, I'm going to uh, just add, you know, it's just a few bits and pieces I keep there. But I'll put those, and I call that off-site locations just to keep it separate from my apartment. So that's the system. Oh, and finally, I have my business assets. Um, again, a different location and a demo location also for testing. I don't think I'll do clothing. It's just going to be too, it's not really what this is, what this is for. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, that's my system and, um, almost done. And so far I'm just extremely, I'm wowed by this system and it's going to make a big difference in my life. Thanks for watching until the next video.